This one is Sega's Saturn, due to replace the Mega Drive and supersede the stopgap 32X. It's a 32-bit machine, it'll play games on carts, the slot in the back here, and also on CD. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Poor Andy Crane. Back in season 3 of UK gaming show Bad Influence, he proclaimed not once but twice that the Saturn played games from cartridge as well as CD. And while Andy was wide of the mark back then, the passing of time has been kind to him because yes, now the Sega Saturn can play games from cartridges as well as discs. Well, one cartridge to be exact. A flash cart, an ODE that removes any need to open up and mod your Saturn console. And that cartridge is the Saru. This video aims to serve two purposes. Firstly, to show the speed gains compared to the Fenrir ODE which I've been using for four and a half years now in my main Saturn. The second is to act as a quick setup guide for new Saru owners, because while I did find some video guides on YouTube, I felt that they could be streamlined, which prompted me to make the kind of setup video that I wanted to see. So if you're here purely for the setup guide, use the chapters in the description to skip ahead. For now though, let's compare Saru's load times to Fenrir. The Saru has around 95% compatibility with the Sega Saturn's library according to the community that support it, and although some games do exhibit sound issues or random freezing, it's worth remembering that Saru is an open source project. That means that TP Unix has vowed to support all Sarus with firmware going forward. This means that stability and compatibility will improve over time, and the current version of the firmware is miles ahead of what we've seen even 6 months ago. I've also seen some debate online about whether Saru is an ODE or an Everdrive cart, and the honest answer is that it lies somewhere in between. The Saru loads games by totally bypassing the CD drive, utilising the increased data transfer speed of the cart slot, so it's essentially an optical drive emulator. In terms of operation, it does feel like an Everdrive, but games aren't flash to memory stored like you see on the Mega Drive equivalent. The games are run direct from the SD card, which is why it's important to opt for a reputable brand. Cheap SD cards often throw up crashes, glitches, or simply don't boot at all. Now apologies for the signal indicator on the Saru footage here. My Fenrir Saturn is running via a RAD 2X, but the Japanese Saturn with the Saru is connected through an RGB SCART to HDMI box. But as you can see, the load times are significantly reduced on the Saru. Ok, now for the setup guide. The Saru cart that we bought comes with support for the latest firmware and FPGA, those being MCU240627 and version 05 of the FPGA. All this means is that the firmware in future can be upgraded by simply dragging and dropping the files onto the SD card, which is where the Saru accesses them from. Ok, so after formatting your SD card as either FAT32 or XFAT, create a new folder called Saru. Within that folder, create two further folders called ISO and Update. Now head to TP Unix's GitHub page, and this is where you'll find all official firmware releases. Download the zip file called firmv0.6 and extract it to reveal the three files that we need, ssfirm.bin, the saru config text file and mcuapp.bin. Place these three files into the saru root folder on your SD card. Now we want to customise the menu with a background and some music. Now there's GitHub pages out there with ready-made themes, such as William Santos's brilliant page, and those themes are based on Spawn, Snatcher, Road Rash, X-Men, Mega Man, Panzer Dragoon, as well as the Saturn's space screensaver, with or without the spaceship. But if you want to create your own, take your chosen image and head to easygif.com. Click GIF Maker on the top left hand corner of the screen and then click on Choose File, select your background image and hit Upload Files. Once uploaded, scroll down and click Make a GIF. 
scroll down further and choose the resize option from the menu and enter the values of 320 by 240 before hitting resize image. Scroll down again and choose save on the far right hand corner of the menu. Now we want to create our music for the menu and to do this we need to convert our mp3 to PCM format. Now I use the 360converter.com website but if you've got a site that you rely on for similar tasks feel free to use it. Standard stuff here, choose your file, accept the terms, tell the site that you're not a terminator sent back from the future to kill it and then click the start conversion button. Once the conversion is complete hit download and the job is a good one. So now we have our two files that we need to customise the menu, one for the background and one for the menu music. Just drag and drop those onto the root of the Saru folder. And now we need to rename both files so that Saru recognises them. Rename the PCM audio file to bgsound underscore r dot PCM and rename the GIF to main menu underscore bg dot GIF. It's that simple. Finally, we're going to make some changes to the config text file. Open up the saru cfg.txt and scroll down until you see lang underscore id equals zero. We want to change this value to one for English. And then beneath that line, we want to add a command of our own so that the saru sorts the games that we add in alphabetical order. To do this, go to the line below the lang underscore id equals one and add the command sort underscore mode equals one. Save the config file and all that's left to do now is add your games. Now usual YouTube caveats apply here, we can't tell you where to find ROMs and the official advice is that you should only use ROMs created from the games that you own and you've backed up. Drag and drop the game into the ISO folder and remember that what you name the folder is how it will appear on the Saru menu and at this time the only file types supported by Saru are bin and Q. Once the games are in the ISO folder, eject the SD card and let's head over to the Saturn and load this into our Saru. And it's as easy as that guys. I won't go into any in-depth views on the Saru as we're saving that for when Dan the Mega Driver gets his hands on his own Saru and we both put them through their paces. Once we've done that, we will be recording a Sega Guys podcast with our verdict on Saru. So if you've got any questions that you want us to answer, drop them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them on that podcast. I hope you found this video useful. And until next time, this has been James, the Sega-holic of the Sega guys, and we will see you on the Sega side.